Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Miss Whitehead Tempani and today we're going to learn ways to be a problem solver in communicating our ideas about word problems. Before we get started, let's get our math brains warmed up by looking at these pictures. What is the same in both pictures? It is the same because they both have a fence. It is the same because they both have grass. It is the same because they both have rocks. Can you think of anything else that is the same? What is different in both pictures? It is different because the first picture has water and the second picture has no water. It is different because the first picture has no people and the second picture has three people. Can you think of anything else that is different? Our learning outcome for today is to model and solve story problems. You can work on your communicator skills by listening so you can understand. Think about how communicators write or model to share ideas when I have you work on the math problem later. Before we get started, I want you to get some paper, crayons, and 10 counters and then come back to me. I'll count to 100 by fives while you get your materials. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 1, 2, 3, come back to me. Just put your materials next to you while you listen to me read the story problem. What do you notice about this picture? Maybe you notice the children playing. Maybe you notice the water. Maybe you notice the bridge. There were eight children playing at Stony Brook. They decided to play hide and seek. Some of them are hiding behind the bushes and only four children are left at the brook. How many children are hiding in the bushes? Picture the story in your mind while I read the story to you again. There were eight children playing. Some of the children are hiding. There are four still playing. How many children are hiding in the bushes? I want you to work out this problem. You may use your paper, crayons, pictures, numbers, words, or even your counters to show your thinking. I'll give you time to work on the problem now. Show me what you did. Everyone had some great answers, 
Let's take a look at some of the ways you solved the problem. Maybe you started with eight counters for the eight children playing. Then drew a circle around the four children that were still playing at the brook. Next, you counted how many counters were outside the circle, and that is how many children were hiding in the bushes. There were four children hiding in the bushes. Eight minus four equals four. Maybe you made a number track from one to eight because there were eight children playing at the brook. Then colored the numbers one through four for the four children that were still playing at the brook. And then put a counter down for each number up to eight. There were four children hiding in the bushes. Maybe you put four in your head for the four children still at the brook and then counted up to eight on your fingers. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You had four fingers up so there are four children hiding in the bushes. There are many ways to solve this problem. Let's reflect on our learning. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and communicator. Did you learn something new about modeling and solving story problems? Were you able to listen so you could understand? Did you write or make models to share your ideas? Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned ways to be a problem solver and communicating our ideas. Try to make and solve story problems with your family today. Make sure to communicate how you solved the problems. I'm Miss Whitehead Tembani, I hope you have a great day and keep on counting.